Brownsville ISD is holding a meeting for parents to talk about a school closure and consolidation plan. Thanks so much for joining us at 6. I'm Dina Herrera Garza. And I'm Rudy Mireles. Now, this meeting started about an hour ago, and our Stephanie Rosales is there outside of Castaneda Elementary where it's being held. Stephanie. Rudy, it seems to be a pretty good turnout over here. The parking lot is full inside. There were around 20 parents. They have questions. They want to know more about this consolidation plan, and that's what this meeting is for. Here at Castaneda, if this closure does go through, students from Cromac, which is actually next door, just on the other side, students from Cromac will be moving here to Castaneda, which is the newer school of both. We spoke with the superintendent, and he tells us that from the preliminary plans, the plan is to move students to the newer school. Six schools are a part of this plan. As we reported, the district is hoping to save money with these plans, specifically with the consolidation of these two schools. The plan shows they'll be saving an estimate of $1.28 million. The superintendent says most of the savings will be coming from positions within the office staff area. We spoke with parents to see how they feel about the plan before the meeting started. This is what they had to say. Chromec is a lot older, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I went there, I'm 30 now, so uh, why now? That's my question. The only thing that I'm thinking right now is the, like the traffic, you know, like the parking space, because it gets full. And I'm thinking that if they like combine the two schools, it's going to get more full. And maybe there's going to be a problem or something there, because a lot of people have to get to work. Another meeting is being held tomorrow at Del Castillo to discuss the same topic. These plans do have to go before the school board before any sort of approve, approval, and that meeting is set for April 9th. Live in Brownsville, Stephanie Rosales, Channel 5 News at 6.